Here in a spreadsheet from a Google form where students have done peer evaluation. You notice that the column with their ID number has repeats, ones with their first name has repeats, one with your last name, email address, chapter, group names, all have repeats. Also having repeats is video quality ratings, rating the quality of the assessment, and the helpfulness of the annotations. These all have repeating values. So any of those could be used in a pivot table. So I'm going to click on column A, come over to the end of my data, hold down the shift key, click on Q, and notice it selects all of those columns. Data, pivot table, in a new sheet, The pivot table editor is over here on the right. Notice it is giving me some suggestions for how I might want to do my pivot table. The average of the student ID for each chapter you are evaluating. Well, that's ridiculous. Why would you average student ID numbers? Your number of unique first names for each of the videos. These are not good suggestions. So I'm going to do this myself. I'm for rows. I'm going to click Add. And I want to ask myself, what do I want to look at? Now, this is peer data. So I either want to know, is my peer evaluator doing a good job? Or how did each student get evaluated? So let's go ahead and do the email of who you are evaluating. So you see these are the unique group emails. And then under values, I'm going to say, okay, well, what information do I want to know for each of these groups? So I want to know the quality of their video. Does this make sense to add up the quality of their video? No, I probably want to count how many times. What does this mean? They got five Ratings? That's exactly what it means. It was rated five times. So I'm going to come over here to columns because I want this to be a little more meaningful. And for the how would you rate the quality of this video, I want the values of those to go into the columns. So do you see my rows are populated by who's in the group and my columns are populated by the values that were assigned. Now this is very hard to read. So I typically like to highlight the pivot table, center the values horizontally, center them vertically, and then I also just like to make the column a little skinnier if I don't need them to be so big, just so that it's easier to read. So now what I can see is that for this group, let me go ahead and highlight this with a paint can. This group received two ratings of a four, three ratings of a five, and five ratings all together. And so I can go down here and I can see that this was really spread out. Uh, people who reviewed, these 10 people who reviewed this group had a hard time agreeing on the video quality. So that's kind of kind of bramp some red flags for me, like. Maybe I need to go look at this more closely myself before I just blindly look at student data or what the students rated. And then I can come back to the tab where I have all of this highlighted and I can go data, pivot table, let me do this in a new sheet because I want to look at it a different way. So for rows, I would like to know who are you? So I'm going to put their first name, and I'm also going to add their last name. So, and then I'm going to not show totals. And so this is going to allow me to see all the students who did the evaluation. I'm going to come over to values. And I'm again going to do overall, how would you rate the quality of the video? It doesn't make sense to add the ratings. I want to count the ratings. So I'm going to choose count, but for columns, I mean, this doesn't make sense. I need 
to know each individual rating. So how would you rate the quality of the video? I want those values in the columns across the top. Okay, and then I'm gonna resize and center. That's a little easier to read. So what I can see is that Alexander redid four reviews, did four peer evaluations. He gave one three and three fours. I'm kind of a little concerned right now that he's just kind of given everybody the same score. So I'm going to kind of think on that. Now looky here, Brian has only reviewed one other person's project. Maybe Brian's not done or I need to go have a conversation with Brian that he hasn't fulfilled his commitment to rate the student evaluations. Now look at Bradbury here. Carrie Bradbury has done four, and she gave it a one and a three, but then Vang Bradbury, look at this, you notice they have the same last first name? What? Well, whatever. Um, he gave five reviews and gave everybody a five. I don't think that this person is taking this very seriously. So these totals don't really make any sense. So I'm going to turn off show totals on last name because I don't need to add it up by last name. The fact that there were two people with the same last name is superfluous. All right, so I'm able to go through here and see how each person rated their peers in a summary so I can see if they were taking the peer evaluation process seriously.